Welcome to the Great Exodus series, God's plan of rescue for his children. Let my people go, the path to Mount Zion. My name is Michael, I'm the founder of Triple Grace and the Righteous Path Movement Foundation, and the author of the Book of Love. You can pick it up at Amazon, a link is in the description box below, if you would like to read it. We are on our mission in Cambodia, and before we start with the topic today, what is a very interesting one, because the Lord woke me up at 3.30 in the night, but I will come to that later. Now, before we start, I still have not received yet the $500 for the newborn, the sick newborn baby. We have to get it together. We have gotten a small amount yet, but still $450 are missing. So please follow the link in the first pinned comment. Open your heart. I know that all the people who have compassion, most of them have only very small amounts, but it doesn't matter. As long as we get the $500 together so that we can pay for it, give new, a new life to this baby and help that everything will be all right, that the operation will be done, that it will be saved. You can do that. Follow the first link in the pinned comment and then make a donation to Patreon so that we have the funds right away and that we can pay for the remaining hospital bill. Thank you for your kind heart. I don't know what else to say about it. That's only I rely on you. You are my followers of the past. You are my brothers and sisters. And you are my people that I can put this at, the, at your heart because I know that you have compassion and that you have love for the children. Thank you. Now let us go to the topic today. And the topic today is Holy Tents. The Holy Tents of the Lord. What are the Holy Tents? Last night, or this morning at 3 o'clock, the Lord woke me up with the song, The Days of Elijah. And everything opened up after that. He said that the societies of the rose that we are building are His Holy Tents. What is a tent? A tent is a temporary shelter used especially also in the first exodus. A tent is a dwelling place where people can gather together. A tent will protect you from the wind and the storm. And a tent will allow you to pray inside and even to put the Ark of the Covenant inside. At the time of David, it was a tent where the Ark of Covenant was in Jerusalem. The Lord said to this morning, he said, the, your societies of the rose, he said, Michael, are my holy tents, are the tents that I will put forth in every nation and in every, on every continent and in every town. Not the churches that have gone astray, but now the new, the church 2.0, the restoration of the book of Acts. You will dwell in tents. And the tents are also very important if you look at this, that the feast that is celebrating during the millennium is the Feast of Tabernacles, another remembrance of the tents. So the holy tents are the societies of the rose. And it is difficult to erect a tent? No. Can you do it anywhere? Yes. So you are called for us now to erect the holy tents of the Lord, the societies of the rose in your neighborhood, and to gather the people together every day for teaching, praying, and empower them so that they can go out of the tent into the neighborhoods, show forth the love of the Father, and lift up the needy and nameless and faceless. Because this is the time of the great harvest, and you are called forth as the harvest workers. But you have all to establish your tents. Wherever you are, a tent can be in your house, a tent can be in your garden, a tent can be in any meeting place. It is a holy tent that you will erect, where also the Spirit of the Lord will dwell in and where also the Ark of the Covenant will rest. Create a holy tent by establishing a society of the rose in your neighborhood, in your places. Show forth that you are part, that you are a follower of the past to Mount Zion. Many more teaching will follow, will follow from this awakening this morning. Over the next days, I will put everything for us. Today, what's about the holy tents? 
that the societies of the rose are the holy tents. But we have many, many more teachings that will come out of this download that the Lord has given me this morning. So please, you cannot make maybe a church building, and we should not do a church building, because a temple is our body. But what we can do, we can erect a tent, a tent for the Lord. And do not forget, was it not that the, the, the tent meetings in the U.S. were very successful and many people got healed? Why? Because they were in a tent. So build your tents, build the societies of the rose, build the assemblies of love and righteousness, and start right now. If you do not know how to do that, please contact me at triplegrace55 at gmail.com so that I can answer you and can help you on the way. Become a follower of the path. Build your holy tent. It is the blessing of the Lord will lie on these holy tents. These are the tents of the Lord. These are the tents that he will protect. These are the tents where his holiness will dwell inside, as it was in the time of Moses, when they had the Ark of the Covenant in the tent. Build that tent. Restore the altar of the Book of Acts. Come together in love, unity and support. In the spirit of Moses and Elijah and David, you can see already there are a lot of teaching coming forward in the next days. So please, people, listen to it. Praise the Lord for the download. Thanks God that he has brought the information to us so that we can use it now and establish his tents. You are called everywhere in the world, in every nation, to establish the tents of the Lord. Come forth and do it. If you have questions, come to me. I will answer to you. Gather the people together. Gather the saints together. Gather the people, the lost sheep. Bring them into your tent. And then take that tent onto the path to Mount Zion. And at Mount Zion we will be raptured into paradise. And we will reach Mount Zion alive. We will not die as martyrs. Because we and our tents will stay outside of the world and outside of Babylon. Walk that path to Mount Zion, the holy city of the Lord. Where the throne of glory of Yahweh the Father is. Please understand what a holy tent is. Understand that you have to gather the people together. Understand that you have to restore the altar of the Book of Acts. The holy tents should be brought forth. This is a command of the Lord right now. Praise Jesus. He is saying, build the holy tents for me, wherever you are. Do not give up, but build them. Bring them forth, gather the people, and I will show mercy for you, to you and provision, and I will give you everything you need, and I will protect you against all evil. This was a teaching today about the holy tents. Many more teaching will follow in the next days. So please start, think about it, how you can establish your holy tent in your house, in your garden, in your neighborhood, in any meeting place, and gather the people together in love, unity, and support. Thank you that you have listened to this word, and do not forget to help us with a sick newborn baby. Even if you do not have $450 right now, but you can send $50 or $100, then do that, please. Open up the way. I put it in the pin, first pinned comment. So please help us. If you have questions about the Holy Tents, come forward. Send them to me. Either through the website, triple-grace.com, or through our ministry email, triplegrace55 at gmail.com. And do not forget that you should have a homework that you should bring 10 new subscribers for, the, for our YouTube channel within the next week. Do not forget about that. I will remind you. Thank you that you have listened to this topic. Praise the Lord for all the downloads He's giving us, that He shows us the truth, what to do, how to walk, so that we can stay alive through the seal period, because the seals will be opened right now. The next great teaching about this awakening and this information that the Lord has given me in the morning at three o'clock will come for us tomorrow. So please join us again. Thank you that you were here with me. May God bless you and your family abundantly. 
Have a great day. Maranatha.